so I'm just out with the dogs on a trout fish. I just had, I'm just using this little telescopic rod and this two and a half inch grub, way too big for this. This is my carp gear. And I just had a really nice trout for this river. Um, just grab the plastic. We'll move up to the next hole. Probably gonna get a bit wet here, but anyway. Doing this in gumboots, it's not a good idea. Hard going, especially with two bloody dogs that want to go in front of you. Working dog. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Working dog and a hunting dog. Come on. Here. You stand. Here. I hate GoPros so much. I just had a good sized trout in here. Grab the plastic. Oh, yep. Yeah, I've got one. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. No! No! <laughs> oh! Damn! <laughs> it's alright. I mean, that's. I nearly touched it, so that's a win. Go up into this shallow water here and see. This jig head's way too big. Oh, 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 we're on. We're on. Just wait, man. Just wait. Just wait. You little beauty. Man, it's been a long time since I've caught a trout. Look at that little fella. Big win. Get the other GoPro. I was going to get the other GoPro. <laughs> Hell yeah! Yes! So I really want to get up into there. We'll see how we go with this cast. That was pretty good. I've got one. <laughs> and he come off. Cast up into here. Yep, I'm on. Got one. Yoo-hoo! Look at that. Out of the way. Need some... Need some sunlight on him to get the colours. But... You can sort of see in there. Way too big a soft plastic to be using, but we're getting it done. Nice little fish. Look at their teeth. Crazy. Get this hook out. Oh, I don't know whether you guys saw that. I had a little one just attack it. It's just there. Oh, it was right at my feet just then. <laughs> yeah, we're on. We got one. You. Good fish. Good fish. How's those colours though? And away he goes. That's actually a really good trout for this little river. So I'm pretty stoked with that. And who knows, we might be able to get another one out of here. I might just have a quick cast up into this waterfall. Oh! oh. <laughs> That was ridiculous. Just wait, 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 wait. I don't know whether you guys saw that take, but just caught that other one. Look at the colours on it, hey. <laughs> Good fun. I might even get some underwater footage of this guy. Nice little fish, Stanley's there looking.
Yep, we're on. That's a good fish. Oh, and he's off. Snap the plastic. God damn it. Oh well. I've got a salter in my pocket. Um, so I'll just see what holes we've got coming up. Whether I run the salter. I normally just I used to use worms back in the day, just on a real small hook, no weight. But I'll tie the salter on and we'll see what happens. Now that is a good looking hole. Did you guys see that? Holy hell. That trout just came out of nowhere. And we've got him! <laughs> Here he is just there. Very cool. Alright, I I think I'm done now. Yeah, this GoPro's about to die, so I've had a good bit of fun. Chuck this into a bit of a video. Sorry, there's not much B-roll or footage going on. It's just been a bit of fun. I, I wasn't really expecting much. I haven't fished here for ages. So, yeah, good fun. Well, it's the first day of 2023, so we've got January 1st right now. A bit earlier on today, I've been out trout fishing with the two dogs. Had Rem Dog and Stan the Border Collie. So that was a little bit challenging up in the mountain stream, throwing plastics around, but we got it done. I think we got about seven trout. So hopefully the footage from them turned out all right. And just now we're sort of late afternoon i've just been checking the back paddocks got a couple of deer out but nothing worth getting excited over which i'm kind of glad about because i'm wearing thongs right now i don't really want to be running after a big stag out in the paddock but i'm going to call it quits for today i'm going to come back out in the morning and we might tempt on a meat animal so we'll just see how it goes but i don't want to be shooting anything on last light tonight it's still really warm probably about 26 degrees right now and i don't want to be dealing with deer in the dark especially on a hot night so i'll leave it to the morning and we'll have a look around in the morning see what happens might have a fox whistle as well but yeah stay tuned all right it's just after first light I had a little bit of a sleep in it's 5 30 so i'm just going to whistle this gully in front of me looks pretty bloody good we'll see if we can get some foxes out should be some young ones around at the moment so we'll see how we go Oh, the old button whistle got it done. So second day of January 2023. Was out trout fishing yesterday, which I think I said on the camera yesterday, but yeah, come out this morning, did a little bit of fox whistling. I had a quick look for deer in this gully here, but I didn't see any with me naked eyes, so I didn't worry about it. So I really wanted to whistle this gully. I thought there would have been something in there, and sure enough, I had two foxes coming in. 
I kept whistling after the first one because I thought that there might have been another one around and yeah, turns out I shot it in the exact same place. Using the trusty 7mm rem mag, I uh, forgot to bring the 2D3 out. Possibility of deer out here, so it's good having your yeah, options covered. So, 7 mag did the trick. And those shots are only 140 metres, so on those small foxes, this thing's plenty accurate enough to get that done. So, anyway, I'm gonna let the dogs out of the car now. They're in the car just to save their hearing a bit. We'll go down there and grab these little foxes. The dogs. So those foxes come from just over there that's in the sun now. See them charging over and they're at 210 meters. But given their size, I wanted them a little bit closer. Well, that's gonna be a wrap, guys. I'm gonna take the scalps off these foxes and get out of here because it's already about 28 degrees right now. It's meant to get to about 33 today. So it's pretty warm, so I'll get these scalps get out of here. So this will be the last clip. If you want to see me doing some more of this content, some more of that trout fishing we did yesterday, just drop a comment below, let me know. I've got access to that really close to home, so I've got trout fishing and heaps of fox whistling I can do. If you like watching these type of videos, just drop a comment below, let us know. Cheers.